If y'all take a look, you're gonna see that I lit uh, a bunch of the steers from the front back here yesterday. I got one right there. Uh, I probably put uh, five animals back here. Uh, maybe uh, six uh, back here. And I got an animal in the front. Uh, I've been giving him uh, bait trail for uh, three days now, and he still just kind of seems like I've been giving him the uh, the single dose application of bait trail for three days now, and he just doesn't look like he's doing very good. And so uh, here in a little bit, I'm gonna give him a shot of Zach Tran, and then uh, I'm gonna see what happens on that. And uh, I want to make sure these animals are eating, but I don't want to get so close to them that they run off because I got five new animals in here. And uh, they still uh, they still run away. Like you see this one, he's not eating, right? And uh, if they're not eating, uh, when I let them out of the preconditioning pen, if they don't eat for 24 hours, if they're not on the feed trough within 24 hours, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put them back in the preconditioning pen. Because if they're not eating, that's, uh, that's not good. And so uh, you definitely wanna make sure that they're eating. And so as soon as they get done with this, I'm gonna let them out in the back and then they're gonna go walk around on the grass. But if you take a look at the herd, you're going to see, uh, I guess uh, we'll do this again today. Uh, so this animal right here, this animal right here, what kind of uh, animal, well, I'm not going to say what kind of animal because you can't really tell unless you look at its face. Uh, okay, so this is a number one to one and a half type, some kind of a beef animal, okay? So when I look at this animal, how much do I think this animal weighs? How much do you think this animal weighs? Right here, this one right there. You can see that there's a smaller one right there. You can see that there's a little bit bigger one and then you can see that there's that one. How much do you think that one weighs? And uh, I'm gonna say, uh, I believe that that one weighs about uh, 500. And so you're gonna have to be able to do this. Uh, if you can't, uh, if you can't look at an animal and determine how much it weighs, uh, you're not gonna be able to estimate how much money you can make on that animal. That's the uh, the big thing is that you have to learn how to estimate the weight of the animal, and you should be able to guess the animal's weight within 10%. All right. I mean, this is not rocket science. If you have an animal, okay. Let's say. Uh, Let's say, uh, okay, I'll, I'll turn it into a question. Instead of instead of me just giving all the answers, I'm just going to turn it into a question. If Farmer Howard bought an animal four months ago, or let's just say three months ago to make my life easy, because I don't know, I don't know the number. Oh, actually, let's say four months. Four months is going to be easy. Let's say uh, Farmer Howard uh, brought in an animal one to one and a half type medium large frame uh, four months ago at 200 pounds. In four months, how much can he anticipate that the animal weighs? About 500, right? Because I put them on a 65 to 70 percent diet, TDN diet. I make sure I check their manure. Uh, I check the manure uh, twice a day. Lucy, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Come here. Come here. She's sitting there eating the corn out of the the the, 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 the feed trough. The animal's gonna weigh about 500 pounds. And if the feeder cattle market goes sideways at 235, 240. And the animal weighs 500 pounds. How much money does ha Farmer Howard think he will anticipate he will make on a 500 pound number one to one and a half type medium large frame animal body conditioning score six at 500 pounds if the feeder cattle market is going uh, is uh, going uh, sideways at 235 240. And you should be able to guess within a 10 percent margin, right? I've always said you need to be able to guess within a seven percent margin of correctness. If I have a 500 pound animal and the feeder cattle market is going sideways at 235, 240, and I have a number one to one and a half type medium large frame animal body conditioning score six, Texas type cattle, I would probably make about 240, 230 on that animal. So what's $2.30 uh, times 500? That's about, about, uh, about 1100 bucks, 11, 1150, something like that. And at 550, I anticipate that at 550, I'd make about 1,200 dollars, right? That's what I've been saying, about 1250, 1200. And so uh, that's uh, that's the answer that, and uh, and and I want to, you know, uh, 
bring this up uh, i talk about this uh, very frequently but this these numbers they work for my area right if you're farming cattle in central texas then these numbers will work for you but if you're in nebraska if you're in montana if you're in i don't know uh, anywhere else right your numbers are going to be different and the uh the big idea is that you want to be able to take a look at your current situation and develop a good idea Right, I talk about this all the time. The big idea of a good idea is that you want to be able to take a look at your current situation and then figure something out. Actually, that that uh that little white calf that was uh standing over here off on the side by himself, he's actually in the barn right now, and so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let him into the uh, preconditioning pen. I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of that right now. But that's the uh that's the thing, and uh I'm gonna ask another question. Um. How do you tell if an animal's at a body conditioning score of six? That's the next question. You can tell an animal's at a body conditioning score of six when you cannot see any ribs on the side of their body. If you can see one rib, let me get this uh, short away right here. 